Welcome to the 24th part of Spring Boot Kubernetes tutorial series. In this video, we are going to talk about ingress, which you can use to route the request into various services based on uh, path prefixes or virtual host named uh, routing. So if you go to Kubernetes documentation and ingress section, we can see what is ingress. Already we have seen how we can uh, spin up multiple parts and then uh, use service to uh, load balance the uh, request to uh, one among these uh, parts. But here let us consider we are building a microservice based application where we have a bunch of microservices and usually there are uh, two different ways that uh, we prefer to expose our services. Let's say we have product service and then promotion service. So there are two ways you can expose your APIs. One is let's say API dot product start my company dot com. So this could be a host, a virtual host uh, where your uh, product APIs are exposed. And uh, similarly, you can have API dot promotion start my company dot com. So you can have uh, any API endpoints here. This is one approach. Another approach would be API dot my company dot com slash products and slash promotions so you can follow any of the approach so here the requirement is for all of your uh, product api uh, request will be coming from this uh, host name whereas for all the promotions api you will expose that over this host name or another approach would be you will have a base common uh, api root uh, dns name and then you have a uh, prefix for all the API endpoints like the products and you want to uh, redirect all the request with slash products prefix to product service and also you want to uh, route all the promotions uh, prefix API request to promotion service. So ingress helps in this regard like uh, you can use ingress to map okay if the API request coming is starting with slash products you will route that request to uh, product service or uh, you can map based on the host name also so if you go back to uh, documentation here let us check how it looks like so here we are defining a ingress uh, resource where we are specifying if the request uh, http request path is starting with slash test path and a path type is prefix that means it is starting with this path then route that request to this service whose name is test okay so that's uh, that's how you can define any number of uh, paths so here if you scroll down there are various ways you want to map uh, there are a lot of examples that you can see uh, if you want to have exact match or a path prefix and whatnot you can see how it can be mapped to various uh, services you can also use host name based mapping so earlier what we have seen is path prefix based uh, mapping where uh, we check based on the path prefix and then uh, route to one of the uh, service whereas with uh, host name approach you have a host and then you can specify one or more uh, path prefixes optionally and then route to one of the backend service backend service is nothing but kubernetes service okay one thing to understand here uh, regarding ingress is it's not uh, uh, Kubernetes by default doesn't come up with a ingress implementation. So there are various implementations for the ingress concept uh, you can use. Uh, you can see here there are a lot of uh, ingress implementations. So you can use uh, whatever is uh, you want to use based on the availability on your cloud platform. So uh, for our use case, uh, we are going to use this Nginx ingress controller so there is a, a good amount of documentation available on how to use that uh, we are going to use this so if you remember while uh, setting up the kind cluster in our uh, shell script 
we not only create the uh, cluster and we have applied installing nginx nginx ingress so this contains all the required resources for installing our uh, nginx ingress support so we have already uh, installed our nginx ingress support so i have created a couple of new files to implement the ingress for our api and ui so here we have a resource created of kind ingress and I'm giving a logical name for this as a bookmarker API ingress and uh, we'll talk about this annotation and here under this routing rules I have specified for HTTP protocol and paths I am using this path uh, type prefix and here I am specifying if the path starts with slash bookmarker hyphen API and it can optionally contain slash uh, XYZ whatever uh, mapping we have of our api endpoints so if any request that is uh, starting with slash bookmarker api will be uh, routed to this service bookmarker api hyphen svc which is nothing but our bookmarker api service name so and uh, we are specifying this is going to be forwarded to this port okay so this is how we configure for our uh, API. And here we are using this annotation of our rewrite target. The reason being here, uh, we are using this uh, path matcher where we are uh, having this multiple segments within this one. So uh, for our ingress to work, it's going to match with this uh, path and then uh, take the segments and then redirect the request to this uh, second part of this uh, segment. So if you are accessing uh, let's say HTTP localhost. So by default this Nginx uh, available on port 80. So if you have uh, Nginx uh, localhost 80 slash and if you access bookmarker API slash API slash bookmarks. So if you access like this it's going to match up to this point and then uh, understand okay it needs to redirect it to this service and it's going to take this part and then forward the request to this service so that's how it's going to work similarly uh, we have another uh, resource ingress resource uh, for ui so here we are mapping the uh, request to route uh, which is localhost 80 and we are not using any uh, subpath and then routing that request to this bookmarker ui svc which is nothing but this service okay we are not using the host name based approach we are simply using uh, ingress which is available on uh, localhost 80 and we are using this path based routing to uh, redirect the calls to either api or ui so these are the uh, two ingress resources we are going to use and here we specified so and so port uh, so and so uh, service name and uh, forward it to this port number so uh, these are the two uh, ingress resources we have so now let us uh, apply this configuration and if you go to lens here you can see under network section there is ingresses so here we can see two rules uh, that defines if it matches slash bookmarker api and then uh, matching any segment it is going to forward to this bookmarker api svc and if it is matching with slash or anything uh, it is matching to ui service okay so now earlier uh, we exported uh, expose these services using node port now let us see whether we can access this using ingress uh, urls so if it is localhost colon 80 slash so here localhost 80 is the default port so it, it is uh, removing automatically localhost slash bookmarker hyphen api slash slash api uh, slash bookmarks so what uh, is happening 
this local host is nothing but our ingress uh, uh, ingress path and then it is matching with slash bookmarker api here and it is trying to redirect to uh, this service by taking this second uh, segment which is nothing but slash api slash bookmarks so that's why we are able to access this resource using uh, ingress uh, api url similarly if we access localhost we are seeing this ui application so by default uh, it is redirecting to bookmarks uh, yeah, this is the logic we have in our uh, ui application so here we can navigate and then uh, work with it so that is how we can expose our uh, services and one more thing to uh, keep in mind right now we are exposing this uh, using node port we don't have to if you are using uh, ingress we don't have to expose this we can use uh, ingress to expose these services and still keep these uh, services as cluster ip services only but it is uh, up to you uh, if you want to export it uh, you can use node port otherwise you can keep them as uh, cluster ip and then use ingress only to expose these services so now that uh, we have used ingress also to expose our services via uh, ingress controller uh, we can also use host based uh, routing uh, but we are not uh, using that but you can go through this documentation to see how we can use ingress uh, virtual host name based routing so like this okay so uh, basically we are almost uh, done with our uh, kubernetes deployment here we have used our config maps and then secrets to configure uh, sense to configuration parameters or non sense to configuration parameters and then we have created a postgres database and then used cluster ip for exposing as a, a cluster ip type service and also we have uh, used uh, persistence volumes and persistence volume claims to configure the postgres database but uh, this is fine for uh, learning purposes but typically in production grade environments instead of using uh, these uh, services there is a, a dedicated type called stateful set which is most suitable for uh, maintaining stateful applications like a stateful services like databases so that is what uh, you are supposed to be using uh, in production grade applications and then uh, we have uh, expo exposed our backend api uh, using service and deployments and then we have seen how we can use uh, replicas to scale up and scale down and we have also created the similar service for our uh, bookmarker ui which is nothing but a next.js application and finally we have exposed both these uh, ui and uh, api services using Nginx, uh, nginx ingress so i hope you get a good idea uh, on uh, how you can use uh, kubernetes and then build an application end to end so that's all for this uh, video and i hope this is useful and thanks for watching and bye bye